Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deidre Squares, and today we are talking about the Fallen Arrows Blanket created by uh, Left and Nux. It was a crochet along back in 2017 that I came across on Pinterest not too long ago. So, have you ever been perusing Pinterest, just trying to find something that gives you like a spark, like, yes, I want to make this item, whatever it is, a blanket, a hat, a scarf, whatever, I want to make this. And that was me with the Fallen Arrows blanket. I was kind of looking for something at the time that I wanted to make for my, my nephew. He was, well, he was recently born, uh, so it was, was going to be a, a baby gift present for my sister-in-law. Um, I ended up not doing it for for them just because she, the design and the patterns that she was using for the nursery didn't really fit the the fallen arrows pattern. But I still loved it. And this past fall, I took a class at the SU, and I finished the class. I had taken the day off to do my final because it was online because. And so we, I finished my final and I was home with my husband because I took the day off to take my final. And I was like, you know, deserve a treat <laughs> for completing this class with everything going on in our lives. So I was like, I really want to make this one. So we went to Joanne Fabrics. Well, I'm not sponsored by Joanne at all. It just happens to be the closest. Craft, show, uh, craft store that we have. So go there and I was like, okay, I want to make this blanket. And there's, a, I wanted to use worsted weight, you know, because I prefer worsted weight yarn, even though the pattern for the Left and Nux blanket um, calls for a chunky knot or a chunky yarn. It uses a bulky yarn. I'm not a huge fan of bulky yarn. It's not, I have nothing against it. It just really isn't in my price range most of the time. So I was like, let's use worsted weight. We went to Joann's. <laughs> I had a $20 limit also on top of everything else. I only was able to use $20 because that, that was our budget for this project. And luckily there were some sales going on and I had a coupon. So I got just over, it was just under $21 for all the yarn. So the pattern for this blanket uh, by Left and Nuts uses, I guess, a bulky yarn. And she used 15 skeins of off-white and four skeins of mulberry bush. That's a lot. That's what we got, a lot of yarn. <laughs> um, so when I went to do this pattern, what I ended up buying it worked. I got very lucky. I was kind of eyeballing it. Just because, I, of course, I use I prefer burst weight yarn. And um, I prefer using a double crochet um, with doing a corner-to-corner a corner -corner crochet uh, pattern. I just like the, the size of the pixels that it creates. So, which is also something different. Megan from Left and Nuts used, um, I believe, a half double crochet, which would make it a little smaller. But with the bulky yarn, it would still make it a little bigger. So I thought that maybe um, it would even out in the end. So I got lucky. It did. So, <laughs> so I ended up buying uh, two skeins of Lion Brand Common Love in white. I bought one skein of Red Heart Super Saver in Patty Green, and once two skeins of Red Heart Super Saver in Cherry Gold. Because I decided I was gonna do a Christmas theme for this blanket. So I'm gonna show you what I did, how I, what I made. So hope you guys can see the whole thing. It's not a huge blanket, which is fine, because it's gonna be just like Christmas decor. But I loved it with the arrows and the leaves. And um, this isn't my first corner corner project. Um, I've done them before. And if, it, if you're new to a corner to corner pattern, I 
would recommend only doing one, like two colors, a background color and an arrows color. Um, just because um, if you're not used to like the changing of the colors, it'd be more difficult for you to kind of determine where like the next arrow started. So I started with a red arrow and then I, from the pictures and the call, the crochet along, I was able to determine where the green one started and then again where the third, the third arrow, the second red arrow started. So I got really lucky with that. But I think it came out really great. So as far as, as the actual pattern, it was a, um, a basic crochet, to, uh, corner to corner crochet pattern. It has the lines, which have each row um, with A and B for the two different colors, because um, Megan used only two colors. Um, the only thing that I wish she had done was actually have a pixel count with each row. Because when it came to actually like, so when you're going corner to corner, you're getting bigger, and then uh, it's a rectangle, it's not a square, so you had a, a few rows where it was actually just the same number of pixels, and then it would gradually decrease, which frankly is my favorite part about corner to corner crochet patterns, because you get halfway done, and it starts getting smaller, and it's great. <laughs> it feels like it goes faster um, than just doing row by row um, crochet back blankets, which I love those too, don't get me wrong, but it's something special with corner to corner that it just gets done faster. <laughs> um, so, but I think the actual having the pixel count would have um, benefited me, so I knew that I wasn't going to be increasing. She, she did write increase and decrease. Um, at the end of two of the rows, which was a little confusing to me. I mean, I was able to figure it out because when things did, when I like, I increased when I shouldn't have initially, and then things didn't line up. Luckily, you know, and I was just like, all right, I messed up. Let's go back. What I ended up doing was at that point was I was counting. I stopped crocheting, took the pattern that I had, and um, counted the separate pixels. Um, or counted all the pixels so I knew how many was in the row. And then, um, which helped me when I actually got to start decreasing the number of pixels in my, um, in my blanket because I knew, okay, we're just decreasing now. We're not increasing anymore at all in either, either direction. So that's one thing I wish it had. Um, but a lot of um, corner to corner um, patterns don't have that. But, and that's fine. Um, it may have been a little challenging for somebody who had never done a corner to corner project before. So, um, and then, so I did, along with, you know, doing a double crochet, um, corner to corner instead of a half double crochet, like the pattern called for, I also took some artistic liberties with the border because I felt like my counts weren't the same because of the um, difference in she did half double crochet which is a little shorter I did double crochet which is a little taller than the half double crochet and I didn't think my counts would be right um, so what I ended up doing was I did um, I finished off the, the body of the blanket I got, at that point I sewed in all of my ends because it's the worst part of a crochet project. Let's face it, it is weaving in your end. So I did that before I completed it, so it's just like I could just work on the border, weave in the however many, two or three um, ends that were left, and then I was done, and I could just enjoy the blankets. <laughs> so, um, what I did was I did a single crochet stitch between the on the edge. I did a single crochet between two pixels, chained three, single crochet between the pixels all the way around. And then I did a let's see. When I got around to the um, 
all the way around. Uh, chain one, did a single crochet around the entire border. Um, then uh, when I came around, I did a chain two, double crochet around the entire border. Chain one, single crochet around the entire border. So it's it's not a very big border. It's definitely different from what um, Megan from Black and Nuts did, but that's kind of the, the joys of crocheting. It's, it gives you a little bit of artistic liberty. You know, I changed the color. I changed the difference in the weight of the yarn, and I still got a decent sized blanket. And I changed up the border because I didn't think it would work well because my counts would be wrong. So, um, but all in all, I love this pattern. Um, it's a cute blanket. I'll show you again. I, it's not huge. Unfortunately, I did not um, get to finish it by Christmas because class ended in the beginning of December and we had work and the holidays. I didn't finish it until January. Which is fine. It was just the gift I kept on giving. Um, and I had a great little um, Christmas decor for next year. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to talk to you about with this um, pattern. But, but I think that's it. I think that's. Um, you know, if you are interested in this pattern, because I like to give credit where credit is due, uh, it is on Left and Knots um, website. Um, it is from February of 2017. Yep. Um, and it's a crochet along. So there's a few pages for the actual call. Of course, she does have um, links for um, a paid um, pattern. So you have it all in one, which is great. And um, if you the Left and Nuts website down below for you, so hopefully it'll give you a chance to at least take a look at the pattern. And I believe that's all I got for this pattern. It's really a cute pattern. I hope you enjoy it if you decide to take, um, take a chance on this pattern. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like what I'm talking about, um, you can share. Um, this video, follow me along, and maybe next week will be a pattern that you're also interested in. If there is a pattern that you want me to review, please leave a comment, and it, you never know. The next video may be a pattern that you are interested in. Um, try not yourself. Okay. So, all right, guys, I think that's it. You have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.